Kind of ironic here. We are springing forward, but boys are going to feel like winter tomorrow. There on the left, you can see uh, the uh, WTOC First Alert weather app focusing on radar. You're really going to need that tomorrow. Again, rain is not a guarantee for everybody. Already some showers on the weather app this evening. You can see right now you're going to need this out the door tomorrow morning. While we are not all going to see rain, we will all be dealing with the clouds. Number one, number two, it's going to be feeling quite chilly. Your wear cast for tomorrow in the 40s in the morning. You factor in the breeze, some folks feeling like the 30, so we are talking codes and I think by afternoon we'll raise the numbers just a little bit, but notice this. We will also raise the rain chances up to about 50 to 60% for Savannah. I'm going to break it down community by community here in just a minute, but with temps in the 50s and rain around at least a sweater and with the breeze continuing, some of us still may need the jackets even on into tomorrow afternoon. So feeling much different than it did today. Rain chances out the door through about 8 o'clock in the morning. Very, very low 20 to 30%. I think isolated showers around. Notice how we begin to raise that rain chance later in the morning. So again, cloud cover widespread. We all see it tomorrow, 844 in the morning. Scattered showers beginning to develop more persistent rain. And yes, that is snow across the upstate of South Carolina as we head deeper into the morning. Kind of see here hour by hour. Uh, the latest data really focusing on a cluster of showers, maybe some embedded downpours in here south of the Altamaha River and then showers extending up through the low country along the I-9. 95 quarter. So inland communities, we're keeping the rain chance, but not quite the highest, not as high as it will be across those mentioned areas. Three o'clock in the afternoon, clearing line to our north and west, at least a few scattered showers around. But I think the main window tomorrow for any possible impacts, getting the free water for the grass late morning to early afternoon, and then we will begin to obviously taper down the rain chances at least temporarily. So city by city, chances greatest south of the Altamaha and east of Highway 84. So St. Simons, 80% chance for showers tomorrow, a 50 to 60% chance for showers further inland, except for maybe a 40% in Vidalia. The further north and west you get a lower rain chance. And then similar trends here for the low country of South Carolina. Downtown Savannah tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon wet. So maybe delay the lunch plans. It's cold regardless. Factor in that breeze, 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts, and it will be feeling like the 40s. If you're headed out to the Hilton Head Island St. Patrick's Day Parade, same trend earlier in the afternoon. We're going to keep the rain chances greatest, but not a washout necessarily. Something we'll have to contend with. Breeze northeast 15 to 20 miles per hour, so it'll be feeling cold there as well. I want to remind you, WTOC Cutter Martin, my Facebook page. We're going to be live tomorrow posting all kinds of forecast information and also from the parade on Hilton Head Island. Seven day forecast here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Round number two in the forecast Monday. High temperatures only in the lower 60s. And again, we factor in uh, the moisture moving through the region. Once again, rain chances peaking late morning to early afternoon, and then we dry out once again. Tuesday, Wednesday, it gets cold. Freeze threat. Gardeners, listen up. Thursday morning.